streaming, so a couple, a minute. It's going quite fast, it's halfway there. Redirecting to Facebook Live. Live. Okay, I think we are live now. Right, okay. Good morning, everybody. Welcome morning. to morning. Morning. the first Monday of the month. Yeah, lovely to see, see everyone here. And thank you very much for joining us. And I'm quite excited about it just because we're get, getting into the darker nights and um, a wee bit colder at times. So it's really the time to get our resilience up as a community, especially with all these energy bills going up too. So we've got lots of things to discuss and do today. And just to kick off, we're going to start off with our mindset on a Monday morning to, to start the week right and the month right as well. Um, so we're joined with Irene, a community member here today, and Valerie, thank you for joining. Jeanette will be joining us in a wee while as well. And we've got Anne, who is our uh, mindfulness instructor this morning. So Anne, welcome. And I look forward to you spending 10 minutes of giving us a wee taster and helping our mindset for this morning and for the whole week. Take it away, Anne. Thanks. Okay. Um, thanks, everyone, for joining us. Um, wonderful community to be part of. And I'm so glad that you can join me on first thing in the morning um, to, to be talking about mindfulness. Um, mindfulness just takes up my, it consumes my whole life. I absolutely love being in the present moment. And um, hopefully I can share some hints and tips with you too. Um, so just uh, as Pazna was saying about the energy course, you'll be speaking about that, maybe some hints and tips later on as well. This is causing a lot of people a lot of stress and challenges. And, and just to, to bring mindfulness into to this, into the equation, um, stress and challenges are part of our life. Um, but being mindful just shows you different ways of handling them. For anyone who doesn't know what mindfulness is, um, have you practiced mindfulness, the ladies that we've got on here just now? Have you no. practiced? No. Irene, no. have you practiced? No. Okay, well, I'm, I'm really excited to share this with you. I'm going to be doing a short meditation with you as well. Um, mindfulness means paying attention to your thoughts, your feelings, your environment, your emotions, your body sensations that come along with the stresses and things with our everyday life. With mindfulness, we gently just bring our awareness to our expectations and our experiences in each moment by being present in this way, just not forcing anything, just to allow things to happen, um, just to allow things to, to be as they are, and actually just being there with them we can create a space in new ways of responding. We don't have to jump into something that's making us feel stressful. We can just take a step back. And when we do that, when we're in that present moment, we can give ourselves and create a space for ourselves just to have a new way of responding to anything that's causing us any challenges. So we may not be in full control of our lives, but we can work with our minds and our bodies, just learning how to live with more appreciation and less anxiety. So hopefully these short burst sessions will help you do this. Um, what I want to, to do with you is I want you to try this for yourself. I want you to try um, being mindful. Now, it's... It's easy, but it's it's also quite difficult if you're not used to, to doing this. I want you to try a meditation, just a short meditation. And with all my meditations, I start and finish each of them with the bell. I'll let you hear the sound of that so that you're not um, shaken by it when we come out of our meditation. So that's what it sounds like. It's my small, even though it doesn't look like it in the, the camera, it's my small singing bowl. Yes, Pasna. <laughs> Couldn't hear your bowl at all. Just to no, no, I didn't hear it. No, I didn't hear it. I've actually got a, a bell. If you don't mind, if I can bring that along. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that would be great. I, I can hear that. Can everyone hear Pazna's bell? 
You hear that? Yeah. No, isn't it funny? No. Ooh. no. Okay. So I have to do a clap or something then. No, it's, it's all right. We can do it without it. It's absolutely fine because when you're doing this yourself, um, you're not going to have a bell. It's just when we're doing the guided meditation. So I'll put that away. That was my pro. I'll just stick that away. And uh, let's begin. I want you to try this meditation. So um, just a, a, this basic technique just takes a few minutes and it hopefully will leave you profoundly relaxed. So if your condition allows it, just sit straight on your chair in a straight back chair. You don't need to like slump into it. I'm sitting on my, my two seater couch, but I'm sitting forward. Uh, I'm sitting just on the edge, but always be careful, be mindful of your surroundings as well, um, because safety is our number one top um, thing here we want you to be safe as well so just sitting on a, a, a straight back chair with your feet on the floor and your hands either on your lap or down at your side just allow your hands to be as relaxed as possible and I'd like you now just to gently close your eyes when your eyes are closed it means that you're not distracted by anything around you you're not distracted by anything else on the screen. So with your eyes just gently closed, just focus your awareness on your breath. Just as it flows through your mouth or your nose, down your throat and into your lungs. Feel that expansion. Expansion as the in-breath comes in and allowing it just to let go, leave your body. Stay in contact with each breath, with each in-breath and each out-breath. And observe it without just trying to alter it in any way. And not expecting anything special to happen. And when your mind wanders, and as minds will wander, from time to time, just notice this and just gently bring it back to the breath. This is our anchor. This is what we all have in common. And try not to criticize yourself and, and think, am I doing this right? There is no right way or wrong way of doing this. Just realize when your mind has wandered and bringing it back focusing on your breath. This is the central practice to mindfulness. And your mind will eventually become calm. And then again, this might be short-lived and that's okay. We're not judging anything. We're not judging how you're doing this meditation. Your mind may become filled with powerful thoughts and emotions such as fear, anger, stress, or love. But also these may just flip in and out of your mind. Whatever happens, just simply observe it the best you can without reacting to it and without trying to change it in any way. And then just turning your awareness again, bringing it back to the sensations of your breath again. And after a few moments, just gently open your eyes and be aware of your surroundings. Would you like to share, ladies, how that felt? that very, very brief meditation. I found it quite hard to do just at the beginning, but once you get into it, it's really, really good, peaceful. Yeah. And uh, just putting out all the rest of the thoughts out your mind, exactly. which I find very hard to do. Oh, um, you did it. You did it. Yeah, for I minutes. find it very hard to do, and I'm going to try and practice that. Yeah, oh, good, yeah. good. Yeah. And, and just emptying, just clearing your mind as well. Yeah. 
is a good thing, even for a few minutes. Um, and the more that you do this, it, it's just about practice. It's just being able to do this yes. on a daily basis, first thing in the morning. And um, when you're doing this, or, or you can do it at any time at all, but when you're doing this, you are you're taking all the thoughts, everything, all the emotions that are associated with those thoughts and leaving them somewhere else until you practice this. And it does give you that, the beneficial sensations when you, you're doing that. Thanks for sharing that, Irene. Okay. Anyone else like to share? <clears throat> yeah, totally agree with Irene. Uh, you're spot on there. I had so many different thoughts yeah. out and it just, it was like a loch that was, uh, it was quite windy and a rainy day, a stormy day in the loch that just yep. calmed right down. It was yeah. incredible. Thank you. So yeah. how powerful it is when we've just done it for a fraction of uh, of time. Yeah. Really. Yeah, yeah, that's incredible. Yeah. Um, and as I say, I mean, we, we do have many resources um, that we, we can find on YouTube or or, or Facebook, whatever. Even um, I can, I, I've got some hints and tips that I'm going to share with you as well, just for um, keeping you upbeat as well. So there's lots of things that you, you will be able to find while we're on online, um, just to keep you um, upbeat and, and happy as well. But also, um, recognizing that that you don't need to be all smiley all happy at all times you but you can relate by using mindfulness you can relate to to other emotions when they they pop up in your life but you will be better equipped to deal with them when you're practicing mindfulness i've got a few hints and tips here and i'd like to share with you five if that's okay before i um Yep. Sorry, Anne, can I just stop you there? Yes. Five hints and tips. We're probably yes. going to um, put them in our comments section, if you don't right. mind. Yes, yeah. of course. If people are interested, if you're watching live, please um, please signal by putting a one in the chat button. If you're not live, please signal two. That would be really good to know. <laughs> and if you're interested in the hints and tips that Anne has, if you can message us, um, with a number three to say that you're interested in that and what we'll do is we'll send you a messenger message with those hints and tips okay thank you Great. for your time there Anne um, yes, uh -huh. thank you for coming in and joining us Valerie, did you want to comment at all uh, no I just okay. um, I, I, I just found it very calming Okay, yeah. we, we all felt the same. It was all in alignment, really, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, have a yeah. great week, Anne, and we'll see you next Monday at the same yeah. time. Yes? Okay, uh -huh. yes, have a great week. Us. And, uh, and I, I'm glad that I was part of your first thing Monday morning just to, to give you that mindfulness um, boost that we all need. But thank you, everybody. It was lovely to see you all. And you. I'll see you all again soon. Bye. Thank you, Anne. Bye, thank Anne. You. Bye. 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 Yeah, thank you. Okay, uh, from that calm feeling, we're really ready to do, make some movement, I feel, um, since we've been sitting for a wee while. So if you've been prescribed any exercises or you feel like dancing and awakening the inner child as we talk about that a big well factor so you can join in with this tune this was recommended by um our uh, dj dj cameron and um, it's a local band called the eves and it's called a brand new day so we're going to play that song feel free to sit down and take part by tapping your feet or clapping your hands or raising your hands um, or your shoulders or to stand up and to take part. If you've been advised by your doctor not to take part in any physical activity or activities or exercise at the moment, uh, please take that advice uh, because that's the expert advice for you. But if you can take part, uh, you're more than welcome. Please ensure that you don't your areas free of clutter or any trip hazard, slip hazard or bump hazard. Please go at your own pace and within your own abilities. If you've got any emergency medication, please have it handy in case you need it. And please have your mobile phone handy just in case you need it if you were feeling unwell. If you're feeling dizzy or if you've got any other symptoms, we recommend you sit down and take part today. And you're, if you're experiencing any medical symptoms, 
please get advice from your GP. That's the best person. Okay, so um, I'm just going to play the music. Valerie, I can see you're ready. And Irene, you're going to take part seated. Yeah. Which is great. Uh -huh, thank you. If you just bear with me one moment till I get the music started. So this is a song that's about three minutes long, and then we'll go back into uh, our discussion topic. Okay, here we go. You're searching for a new kind of adventure. You're looking for the light to pull you through. I know that you were thinking it's all over. Believe me, there was so much more for you. Yeah, I just feel yeah. really energized. I feel like just remain standing. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel. Yeah, uh -huh. that was great. So, why do you enjoy movement, Valerie, and dancing? Oh gosh, I don't know. I've I've always been into music. I've always enjoyed, and, and I would soon listen to music and have the TV on. So it's just yes, uh -huh. a big um, part of my life. Yeah, music is very motivating, isn't it? If it's the right tune. It does, yeah, to be singing and energizing and it's therapeutic as well. Yeah, well, I don't care. I, I believe in this the saying, you know, dancers or no one's watching. Well, that, that's what I do. Mm -hmm. So I don't Absolutely. care if I look stupid. <laughs> Absolutely. And if you're watching this from home, you could be what you could be dancing in your living room or your bedroom or your living room. And we can't see you, so you could be doing some really funky moves. If you okay. did join in, please put a number four to say that you joined in. Um, even if you listen to this later. Um, and please put a five down if you did your prescribed exercises. And this might be a motivating factor on a Monday morning. You're not so motivated to do your exercises that have been prescribed. This might be the few minutes that you do those activities. That, um, it's, it's a good way of integrating new habits like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you very much for joining in. Um, and this swiftly takes us to our next topic which is around life hacks. Um, we, we've been 
hearing a lot in the news about energy bills and how they're rising this very month. Um, and I really wanted to discuss any hints and tips that community members had. So if you've got any hints and tips that you're using at the moment, um, please put them into the comments section and share with others. We'd really like to hear, and I, I, I personally would love to hear some more tips. My heating switched off at the moment. I don't know if anyone else mm -hmm. is. Yeah. Um, but it's been on and off, on and off, as soon as yeah. it gets colder. <laughs> yeah, has yours been like yeah. that, Irene? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on, off, on, off, depending. Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. I, I've started using a hot water bottle already. Yeah. And I love it. My hands get particularly cold, so um, right. especially sitting at the computer. So I really enjoy having this hot water bottle. And I, I don't know if anyone else in... Uh, if, if you do use a hot water bottle, please put it in your comment section. And if you've got nice holy yeah. ones, you get all these amazing hot water bottles nowadays, don't you? Of different mm. shapes yeah. and things. It'd be really cool to have a look. My, the cover is missing off mine, but that just means that I've got more heat coming through mm -hmm. straight from the bottle. Uh -huh. um, the, the other thing that I came across during COVID lockdown was that I kept boiling the kettle every couple of hours mm -hmm. and uh, it raised that awareness in me like working from home that how much how many times a day I would boil the kettle full of water not use all of the water so I actually decided to get my hot water flask out and fill it top it up with, with hot water it meant that I didn't need to keep on boiling the kettles uh, all day and just kept using the the boiled water from from the flask instead so I only boiled the kettle once and that's something that I'm still doing so that, that's another tip I can impart from my personal story is uh, have you got any other hints and tips Irene or Valerie? As I say I haven't tried anything yet but I think that's a good idea with the hot water bottle and the flask uh -huh. got one so get yes. that out and start doing that. No absolutely I think that yep. Cold weather hasn't kicked in yet. Yes, it's not great, great day, but it's not yeah. quite cold. So I think it's a, probably a good idea to start thinking about it. Uh, yeah, uh, this definitely gets the uh, awareness around that. Valerie, mm -hmm. anything from well, you? Well, I know that wearing a fleece always makes me feel very warm. So I think fleecy fabrics are really good for people. And um, the other thing I was thinking about is um, we have a smart meter for the gas and electric and i assumed it was producing readings but when the energy company sent me messages that they were going to increase the bills and whatever i didn't pay too much attention to it and then i thought hang on i'd better send readings and it turned out that oh, for a good six months or so it said for some reason the smart meter just hadn't been able to be read for whatever reason so it was um, really good in that instead of it being a £200 increase that they wanted to take, I was well in credit. That was the other thing that uh, alerted me to it. Um, instead of it being, they wanted to put the bills up by about £200. And now that I've submitted actual readings, it's just going up by £23, which is it's still an increase, but it's yeah. more manageable than... Uh, than I expected it to be. So I would suggest that people once a month provide readings, whether you've got smart meter or not, to keep yourselves on track. Oh, that's and, just pay, and just pay for what you're using. That's a really good mm. tip. Thank you very much, Valerie, because you're right. You just, you let these things go sometimes and you're not always on, on top yeah, of it. Yeah, I was oblivious to it. Yeah, until suddenly I was well in credit. It was like, whoa, this... Right. How, what do you mean you want to charge me more money when you've got all my money anyway in the first place? That's right. Yeah, no, that's a very good point. I will definitely be checking my bill after this and, and the meters uh, meter reading. If you're not able to do that, please get someone else to, to help you with that. And if you're stuck, please message us and we'll help you um, locate the right professional to help. Uh, Can I just say that um, I have uh, two prepayment meters and when I went to put readings in, they said I didn't have to because when I'm topping up my meter, they get my meter readings at the same time. Oh, yeah. 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 So we'll see how that one goes. 
Yeah, no, absolutely. Fingers so crossed. Many different providers mm -hmm. and so many I know. Of doing things. Mm -hmm. So that's yep. really interesting as well. Hannah yep. adds another perspective. Okay, yep. thank you very much for those life hacks. So uh, I think we'll probably continue with this theme um, next week as well, just because it's going to be leading up to the uh, colder weather. So if you've got other hints and tips that you wanted to okay. mention, anything that you've read or heard on the radio, some, something that you want to share here would be a really good space for our wild community. Yeah, that, that would be great. I'm just going to move on to our last topic, which is talking about community connections. So I just wondered what everybody's up to this week. Um, at Weekday Wild Factor, I'm just going to start off with what we're up to. Straight after Wild Live at half past 10 today, we've got the daytime disco. So like the dancing today, we will, we'll extend that dancing. Uh, we have half an hour of chat, of catch up how people have been during the weekend and, and the week and um, what's been in the news, for example, and uh, yeah, a any topics that we want to discuss. Um, and then followed by half an hour of dancing where people pick their own tunes. So that's going to be this morning. And then on um, on Tuesday, we're going 10 pin bowling actually at Sobri Head. So if, you if you'd like to take part, please send us a message and uh, we can contact you with more details. Um, yeah, what, what are you up to this week, Valerie? Are you, are you doing much? Um, um well, I'm going to join in with the call at 10.30. I'm going to the uh, the day-to-day, -day, the face-to-face the, the, the -face disco on Wednesday lunchtime, 11.30 oh, yeah. to 1.30. That's at Victoria Park Bowling Club. And right. so there's right. a nice, in White Inch, and there's a um, lovely group of people and a cup of tea and a sandwich and lots of music and Cameron's very obliging plays what you want him to play with a reason and uh, it's it's just a lovely atmosphere and the time goes by so quickly in no time at all it's 1 30 and it's you know and it's the last song so it's uh, it's a good use of time and then on Thursday tea time we have another zoom call which is five o'clock to six and uh it's more chat and catching up with each other and more music. So that's what I'm hoping to do this week. That sounds great. Thank you very much for sharing that, Valerie. Irene, what about you? What are you up to this week? Well, it's a while since I've been at Wednesday Wild Factor that I just go uh -huh. and I'm going to do my very best to get down there because people are so nice, so friendly. Um, mm. And maybe the Tai Chi, maybe think about doing that. Yeah, that will resume on Friday. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh -huh. yeah. that sounds good with, with Rebecca. Um, mm -hmm. Rebecca is a postural stability instructor as well. So she's got right. a lot of knowledge and skills around falls prevention and exercises uh -huh. too. So okay. I'd like to have her on board. So yes, uh -huh. that, that should be really good. And yeah. all these activities obviously mean that you can put your heating down a little bit as you'll feel a wee bit warmer. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. you go to the face-to-face -face event, you might not need the heating because you're not in the house. Yeah. Um, but if you are in the house, you might need to, to put your, yeah, put your um, radiators a wee bit lower and decrease your, your bills while you're joining yeah. in the activities with us. Yeah, so please join us. If you're doing something else in the community, uh, please mention that um, within the chat section. Uh, we are, we, we want to hear from community members, not organisations themselves. So um, if if you are someone who's attending a community group, you're welcome to uh, add to the feed and it means that more people are aware of what's going on in the community. Okay, thank you very much for joining in Irene and Valerie. And I hope fun. you enjoy the rest of your day and the week and everybody else who's joined us as well. Thank you so much for supporting the Weekday Wow Factor community. Thank you, Parsna. Thank, thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.